Hey guys, I'm here with Brooklyn, and also my dogs are here, Gracie and Roxy, sunbathing, um, just in case they start making weird noises. It's just them, but they're being really lazy right now, so I'm sure they'll be okay, but, oh, there she goes. <laughs> she does a weird thing on the bed, and it's strange. Anyways, um, I wanted to do, and Brooklyn is holding T's transformer. He was looking everywhere for it, and I came upstairs to film this video, and I found it, um, behind the box of Kleenex. Why it was there, I don't know. He was hiding it or something. Who knows? Anyways, the point of this video is I wanted to do a video of a nursery tour. Now, I don't have an actual nursery. I live in a townhouse. Um, I do have a basement. Um, <laughs> why every time I start filming, my mind goes blank. I have words. I know how to speak and my mind goes blank. I have a basement. That is what it's called. The lower level level of my house. Um, but, uh, it's my kids. It's full of their stuff and I don't want my babies down there. So I wanted to film this video to show you how you could do, a <clears throat> small space nursery. Now, mine isn't complete. I am new to um, reborning and I have so many ideas, um, so many things I'd like to do with my little space and I will actually show you in a minute. Um, Brooklyn. I'll show you in a minute where I'd like to move everything. But anyways, to get to the point, um, this is my uh, nursery. So it's tucked in the corner there beside my dresser with all my blythes. Well, some of my blythes. They're all over the place. There's those guys. And my factory girl. I can't wait for the warm weather so I can start taking pictures again. And I just want to take some pictures of her on the beach. She's so beautiful. I know she's a fakie, but anyways, to the point of this, um, here it is. This is what I've done. I have taken, I'm trying to back it up. There we go. I took one of these, um, dresser little, uh, cabinet things that you get at, um, Walmart and, uh, on top of it. I have a Rubbermaid container. It's just a small one and I put a fitted blanket over top and it works perfectly for me for a little bassinet. And I am looking for another crib sheet. I just can't find one that I like. I'd like to get like a polka dotted one like blue, purple, like so boy and girl colors. Um, there's Owen sleeping. I tried to prop his head up a little bit so you could see him better. And he's having a nap. I haven't changed him. If you follow me on Instagram, these are the PJs I put him on, <laughs> put him in last night. Um, and I've just been busy this morning. I went for a run, yay me, more of a walk, but it was good anyway. And uh, then I was supposed to clean the house and I got uh, distracted by calling people and bragging about my run walk. So anyways... That was half my day, and then I wanted to film this video while the kids were at school, so that's what he's in, a little Rubbermaid container with a, a crib sheet over top. I also have this beautiful blanket that um, my grandmother made. Um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, she was going, that's when, around the time she started to get... Alzheimer's and um, I remember my and I feel bad because I didn't really get to see her um, during my pregnancy during the last bit of time when she was still remembered everybody but my sister went and visited her and she said Mandy's pregnant and um, she said oh I want to give her I want to give her baby this blanket and uh, it's just really pretty you can't really see. Oh, there's some sparkles in it. And uh, I had it on Emma's bed, Emma's crib. And uh, when I put this little bassinet together, I thought, 
That was perfect, perfect touch. So, it, <clears throat> just a little information, <laughs> a little backstory, if you will. Um, this is Owen's drawer. Um, so his stuff's on top. I'm sorry, Owen. <laughs> He's getting a little shake. Um, then I'll shut that after. This is... Oh, that drawer is sticky. I don't know why. Um, this is the girl's stuff. So when Lexi or... I'm not sure what her name's going to be yet. But when she comes, this will be her, um, her stuff too. I have some pacifiers that I'm going to... Um, modify when she comes because I'd like to know what side her magnets on first. I'm so excited that I learned how to do that because it's so much fun. And then this drawer has their my f <clears throat> um, camera isn't focusing. It's all out of. Do I have it on the right thing? Yeah. I don't know why it's being silly, but um, this is their bottles and their diapers and stuff. Oh, I had, I don't know if you saw the sunglasses in there, but I got some cute sunglasses, so they'll be cute for props. And then down here, under my bed, is where I have their, um, little blankets, and there's also some of Addie's. Look at those shoes, they're so cute. Um, American Girl shoes and stuff. So what I want to do is eventually, uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this like this. What I'd like to do is walk over here with me. And if my mom's watching this video, she is going to freak out when she sees this corner. <laughs> She's going to say, Amanda Joyce, what is your deal? I don't know why this is not focusing. Um, but sorry. A little blurry um, but this corner here I would like to when I get my spring cleaning on take all this stuff I don't know where it's going to go I I don't know what to do with my Blythe boxes somebody please <laughs> it, ah, tell me what do you do with them should I be keeping them should I be tossing them if you are a Blythe collector let me know where you store yours. Do you fold them down? Can they be put back together? I don't know. I have them all in this corner here. And I yell at Jordan for keeping boxes. <laughs> like, why do you have to keep boxes? Yet, I refuse to throw those out. Because if I was to sell one of my girls, I would need the box. I don't know. People like that. And then Addie's in here. Um, this is where she hangs out. And that's another thing. I'd like to move her because she doesn't need to be in the corner. Um, but the whole point of this is this corner I would like to transform into the nursery at uh, some point in time when I can get my act together and clean my crap up. And so I'd like to get a bassinet and there, we'll focus on Brooklyn because she's showing up really good. I don't know why my camera is being silly. But yeah, so I wanted to show you that you can uh, do a little, you don't have to have a full room. You can easily take a Rubbermaid container. See, there it goes. These brain farts of mine. I'm going to start writing stuff down. You are going to talk about Rubbermaid containers, Amanda, and how you put a croup sheet over top of them. Don't forget that word. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's how you can uh, do a little nursery in a small space. And my mom just talked to me. <laughs> she said, if you make a video and you have your brain farts, stop the video and make it again. Um... I'm not going to, I would be here all day, mother. I seriously would. I don't know what it is when I start talking, and it's not just when I film videos. I blame it on my thyroid all the time, but literally, ever since I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, I started researching it and doing all that fun stuff. There, it really, a brain fog is one of the symptoms, and I have it so bad. I will be talking to somebody, and I will literally hear my words come back to me, and I'm like, why, what am I saying? How is this person still talking to me? I sound like I escaped a mental institution. Like, I seriously, words come out of my mouth, and they don't make sense. And so that's what I'm blaming it on. 
anyways, that's my nursery tour right now. Um, stay tuned because maybe in the summertime I'll have a bigger, better, amazinger nursery to show you once I get my act together and clean up my crap. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. Have a good day.